Okay, so winter storm Viola has left us with a new thing of snow and it's even though it's only 20 degrees out it is starting to melt for some reason I guess the heat in the truck thermal mass in the truck is starting to heat up the tarp that I put over it and I covered up the windows and the doors so I could my doors wouldn't be frozen on the truck this morning And over here, I had these bungeed down. The other side was ropes. So I'm getting ready to take this off. I did get the trailer door open over there. And uh, that uh, starter fluid worked real good. Just had to work the locks a little bit more. Okay, there she goes. Got it off. Doesn't look too bad. A little bit damp. I got some crows. But I got a crow up in that tree right there. Let's see if you can see it. So, yep, it's up there, right in there, up there calling at me. Alright, so today is going home day, and um, so I already checked the fluids and everything before Viola hit and um, ran it on and off. So I've got it going again. I just have to um, get in the back seat here and take down the, um, had a little air mattress back there for my niece. It's kind of the ones that uh, it's made for cars and so she could sleep coming up. So, but look at the back of my truck. <laughs> yeah, I won't be using that cargo net for a little bit. And that's my toolbox is underneath that. So hopefully that'll get uh, thawed off here pretty soon. Mary Carol found an easy way to, instead of climbing down the hill with stuff, she's putting it up there on the top of the hill and letting it slide down. <laughs> so I guess it's my job to put it in the trailer. All right, the most of those tubs are empty. Let me get to it. She's got more coming. Okay, so the most important piece of this endeavor um, is Mary Carol's ERG little rowing machine. It's in two pieces right now. So we got it in, and she'll be happy. She can take that back home with her. We we'll have to buy one for her to keep up here when she comes back. But look at that gorgeous morning. Isn't that pretty? Let's see if I can walk down there with you guys. I think there was some deer in here or something up through here. Probably come in to eat some of this grass off the side of the hill. Could be. But it looks feels too icy under my feet. So I am going to leave that alone. But it is pretty. a lot dirty but here you want me rolling down your window? No, I don't want you to. <laughs> no. It's cold out there.
So we came through Big Walker Mountain and we're in Virginia. Uh, almost to Whitfield. And you can see that the snow is not as bad over here on this side of the mountain. I wanted to show you how pretty it all still is. So we just passed Whitfield, Virginia, and Mary Carol's like, oh, look, Sandy, no snow. <laughs> so, yep, we have no snow now, which is wonderful. It's yes. 33 degrees. It's a heat wave. <laughs> Whoops, we're coming up on Fort Chiswell. All right, thanks for bearing with us, guys and gals. We made it to Charlotte and we're at the A-Loft. They are pet friendly since we have Bailey the Beagle with us. So we're in Charlotte near the airport. Sorry about my windshield being all messed up. But we, we did, uh, we made it down from West Virginia. So we're halfway home. Just made it into the room and look at this. I've never been in a, a loft before. There's Mercurial, and they're pet friendly. They are super pet friendly. <laughs> like, no extra fees kind of pet friendly, and so, allow the dogs everywhere. So there is a nice shower there. Toilet behind her. And the barn door. Mm -hmm. And two double queens. This is cute. Reminds me of some hotels in Europe. Let's see. Yeah, leash, baby doll. A little bit bigger than the European hotels, but... I like all the clean lines in it. Let me take off your leash. I know so. you're dying. I tried to give you water, but you wouldn't drink it. There you go. All right, a great ending to a good day. <laughs> yep, we're in the bar at a lot. So cheers, everybody. Love you all. Bye. Okay, it's a beautiful morning this morning. We're headed to Cracker Barrel. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina. How that sun's shining, we haven't seen that in a couple weeks. <laughs> so, we just finished our breakfast here at Cracker Barrel. We sat in the truck and ate. Um, Mary Carol's out walking Bailey right now, and then we're going to get back on the road and say goodbye to this place. I'm about three and a half hours from home, and uh, she's got another four to go after that, heading back to Tampa. All right. Wish us luck. Bye-bye. Okay, made it to Pooler. Interstate.